All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to tell you guys another bodybuilding story that I thought you guys might enjoy. So this story is going to be about a bodybuilder named Cal Sakalik. Now, Cal Sakalik was a bodybuilder who was very well known in the 1970s for having some of the best arms and the best pecs of that era. Um, so the story that I want to tell you guys is known as the Crucifixion of Cal. And this is a story about a pose that Cal hit in 1978 that was one of the most infamous poses in the sport of bodybuilding. So many of you guys may be familiar with the crucifix pose, but Cal hit a variation of the crucifix pose that was very offensive to some, and it was a very memorable pose um, because he hit it in a way that it was described in the Bible. If you see pictures of Jesus on the cross in the Bible, this is how you would picture it. He had his head tilted to the side. He had his arms kind of just hanging um, parallel to the ground, looking like he literally got crucified. So the story we're going to tell is why he hit that pose um, and kind of the reasons surrounding it. So let's give you guys a little bit of background on Cal Sakalik. So in 1977, the year before he hit this pose, he won three shows that year. He won the Mr. America, the Mr. USA, and the Mr. Universe all in 1977. Not to mention that at that 77 Mr. Universe, he beat Mike Menser um, at that show. So let's fast forward a year to the 1978 Mr. Olympia. So Cal was by far the crowd favorite at this show. As soon as he came out on stage and started hitting his poses, the crowd was going absolutely crazy for him and really for nobody else. So he had thick, you know, Arnold-like pecs. His arms were pretty uh, similar to Arnold's. He had crazy bicep peaks. And the crowd was going crazy and getting louder with every single pose that Cal hit. So Cal, like I said, was obviously the favorite. Robert Kennedy, who is a famous author of multiple bodybuilding books and magazines, went on record to say that he believed that he was the favorite to win, that Cal was the favorite to win this Olympia. Um, so the placings were being announced, and sixth place comes around, and then fifth place comes around, and they announce Cal's name. So Cal got fifth place at this Olympia. And when they announced that he got fifth place, the crowd was booing. They were going crazy. You know, everybody was kind of looking at each other with shock and confusion because nobody knew, you know, how could how could he get fifth place? He was the clear winner of the entire show. Um, and everybody was booing. So Cal heard the boos. He knew that everyone knew that this was a robbery. He, he deserved a better placing. So in the midst of those boos, he was kind of soaking up the boos. And he hit that crucifixion pose that you can see in these pictures in this video. Um, to let the crowd know that he had been crucified. He had kind of been uh, taken advantage of and, and politics had played into this decision. So Frank Zane ended up winning that Olympia and Cal ended up ending his career with the IFBB at this show. So to give you guys a little bit of background on why Cal thought he had been crucified was because in years prior, he had had some issues with Joe Weider using his photo in the magazines. So he had actually went to Weider's office um, and stole those photos from Joe Weider's office. And I guess while he was taking those photos, Joe Weider caught him and tackled him. And apparently Cal took out a lawsuit against Joe Weider. So during this time, this lawsuit was still pending while Cal was competing in Joe's Mr. Olympia competition. So Cal felt that he had been crucified at this show for the issues that he had had with Joe in years prior. So he was basically letting the crowd know that politics were the reason for this decision. And they obviously were because Cal, in my opinion, was the best bodybuilder on stage at this show. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it entertained you guys. Please give the, th please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Next Strength and Power, signing out.